Welcome to McNulty's Book Corral. Today we're talking about James Francis Dwyer, an Australian writer who was born in 1874 and died in 1952. Now, James Francis Dwyer, I only have two books by him. He, he was a writer of high adventure stories uh, from many years ago. This is The White Waterfall, and that's a first edition. This was published in, I think it was 1902, uh, 1912, I'm sorry. So The White Waterfall was published in 1912. Goes back away, doesn't it? And this was actually the second book of his that I read. Uh, the first one is a modern reprint, which is available from Black Dog Books. And is you can find this easily on Am Amazon. This is the Spotted Panther. And Black Dog Books uh, does really a great job in putting these out with the cover art and so forth. When I read this book, I knew I had to read another one by him. His books are not easy to find. You see them on eBay now and again. But when I read The Spotted Panther, I was hooked. I thought, this is great. I love the literature from that period anyway. You know, this was this was an era of great adventure novels that were, were published in profusion from a wide variety of sources. And James uh, Francis Dwyer contributed to that. Um, I'll leave it to you to Google little bits and pieces about his life. But if you get a chance, read The Spotted Panther. This is the easiest to find out there. I would love to see reprints of his other books, such as The White Waterfall, which I also recommend. Again, this is high adventure um, from the turn of the century, you know, uh, 100 years ago and so forth, uh, prior to World War I, when people were exploring the world and they were writing these fantastic tales, um, influenced from a lot of different sources and so forth. So my pick for today are the two by James Francis Dwyer. Stay well, stay happy, feed your brain, and read a book. And I wanted to mention that the copy of The White Waterfall that I have was signed by James Francis Dwyer with the following inscription. Dear Captain Roberts, if The White Waterfall was marketable stuff, you and I would skip down to the Isle of Tears and bottle the Little Niagara for Broadway patrons. With regards, James Dwyer. Mm -hmm.